Our top story tonight, and Deputy President William Ruto has condemned the arrest, harassment, and deportation of uh, Turkish businessman Harun Aydin, who has been described as his business associate. Ruto claims Aydin was uh, tortured and later bundled into a Turkish plane. And as Mwangi Maina now reports, Aydin's lawyers have vowed to move to court to challenge the decision to deport the Turkish businessman. The deputy president has accused some government officials of what he has termed as political pettiness following the arrest and subsequent deportation of his business associate, Turkish national Harun Aydin. Ruto says he has talked to Aydin, who is now in Turkey, and apologized on behalf of the Kenyan government on what befell him Monday morning. The DP tweeted, and I quote, Harun was politically arrested, tortured, and falsely profiled as a terrorist, but later asked to fly out not to shame those involved. End of quote. Ruto terms this as shameful political pettiness, which is dangerous and expensive and could end up hurting the economy of the country. Aydin was arrested Saturday upon his arrival at Wilson Airport from neighboring Uganda. The Turkish businessman is linked to DP William Ruto's aborted trip to Uganda last week. Aydin, who flew in the company of MPs Oscar Sudi, Dede Nyoro and Benjamin Tayari, was arrested on suspicion of financing terror and was to be presented before Kahawa Law Courts Monday only for his lawyers led by Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi to learn of his deportation within the precincts of the court. This was just a political act. Of course the government knew that Harun had no issue with terrorism or has not committed a criminal offence. For me, as a lawyer, it saddens me because, uh, I mean, this is a government whose modus operandi really is to abuse the criminal justice system, a government that uses, you know, the criminal justice system for political ends, a government that abuses the constitution for political ends, and, and it's terrible for this country. You know. Aydin's deportation has elicited mixed reactions, with DP Ruto's proponents arguing that he was deported due to his relation with the deputy president. Sasa kwa sababu hii ukora ya siyasa ya Kenya hii ndio mnaona sasa wameshindwa kumleta kotini imebidi wa deport Aydin's lawyers had vowed to move to court to challenge his deportation and ensure his back in the country the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as well as the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government are yet to break their silence concerning Aydin's deportation Mwangi Maena TV 47 Nairobi